Hey guys, it's Antis, and we're back on the Division 2 Private Beta. Now, I was going to show you guys this type of mission. It's a new type of mission to this game. It wasn't in the first game. They're called Control Points. Um, I've only found three of them. I'm pretty sure there's only three of them. There might be one or two more. Uh, you never know. I haven't really fully explored the whole thing. Uh, but anyways, you're going to fire off a flare, and uh, a little group of green guys will come to help you. Uh, this is obviously a lot easier if you have your own friends or teammates. Uh, I'm running these solo. I already ran one of these before I did this one, and I got uh, the blue uh, AKM. Um, at the end of this mission, I only get a green AKM again, and then when I do the third one, I got another blue AKM. So I don't know why, but all three of my the weapons that they gave me for the big the big supply drop or whatever on these was all the same gun. Um, you guys can let me know in the comments down below if you guys ran into that same thing. Um, because it seems like every one of them gave me a gun and like a knee pad. Um, but the guns were all the same gun. Uh, two of them were blue and one of them was green as you'll see in the video here. So you're just going to want to kill these couple waves of enemies. They're not too hard. Uh, I'm only level 3 so it's not like I'm super good at this. Um, I didn't die a single time, but I did get pretty lucky because uh, my shield went completely down. I definitely almost died, uh, like twice, I believe. So, I would recommend that you guys get the uh, turret, by the way, because in my last video I said that I got the drone to test it out and see what it was all about. I ended up switching over to the turret, and the turret absolutely shreds these little guys. So if you are playing solo, having a turret is going to make a huge, different, a huge difference. It's just as... Basically, it's just as good as if you had a friend with you. Um, so as you're, you're going to see here, this guy, he's complete. he almost killed me right there. I got lucky I didn't die. Uh, but that turret was completely shredding his health off. And every time that I've done one of these so far, all three of them, when I've thrown that turret out, the turret is like the sole reason why I kill the boss, because it completely shreds the guy down. Now that gold guy, when he died, he didn't drop anything. Um, but there's two gold guys per mission. In the other two missions, they both dropped a green item for me. Um, I don't know why that one didn't. So you always have to kill the huge group of guys that's there. Once the boss comes out, you kill the boss. And then after you kill that boss, then you have to defend. As you can see there, there's the other gold guy. Now this guy was messing me up too. I don't know why. Uh, again, only this mission did I have any problems. The other two I did really easily. I recorded this one because I thought this one would be the easiest one. Since it's like the first one you find. Um, <clears throat> but for some reason it was the hardest of the three. Uh, so as you saw there, that gold guy did drop me a green item. Um, so out of six gold guys, five of them dropped me green items. I don't know why that one did. And out of three of the uh, the big boxes that you get to open after completing these, two of them dropped me blue guns, one dropped me a green gun. <clears throat> so you just want to look for that uh, thing there that says supply every time you defeat these. Um, they're new, so they're kind of cool because they're new. Um, they're kind of a whatever mission. They are pretty easy. Everything in this game at this point is pretty easy just because we're early on in the beta. Uh, but it is a good way to get a bunch of supplies. You're going to get a new weapon just from the weapon drop. You're going to get um, some random gear. And then you're going to get the actual big box too, which is going to have some stuff in it. Uh, so anyways, my advice though for this would be even if you are playing solo... Just go ahead and do these. Like, if you tried to do them and you lost or whatever, just do them again um, if you are in the beta because these are a pretty good way to get some good stuff early on. Uh, like I said, I'm only level 4 right now, but I got that blue gun as soon as I was level 3, as you can see on the screen there. Um, and it's better than the level 4 one. It's the best gun I have right now, and even a few hours later, after a few more hours into the beta, I'm still using that same level 3 gun, even though I'm actually higher now. So, it is what it is. I just wanted to share that with you guys so you guys could see um, what those missions were about, whether you were in the beta or not in the beta. 
So as always, if you found it useful, then leave a thumbs up. Feel free to comment down below and let me know what kind of lucky stuff you guys have gotten from those. And also, if you guys got three of the same thing like I did. Um, and as always, if you're new to the channel, then go ahead and subscribe. Because I will be making more Division 2 uh, beta videos as well as, as well as videos for it once it fully comes out. So I'll see you guys next time. Hard not to fall asleep out here.